<sighs> Alright, we're back in this. Uh, this is grand finals of doubles. You guys are good to go. So, uh, after losing in winner's semis, or whatever it was, yeah, semis to us, uh, Jay Salt and Lee ran it back, lose finals, crushed us 3 0. So they're on the warpath right now against the current incumbent, Bone City. And, uh, well, I don't know what all that was basically, but that sounded like. Yeah, that's a little terrifying. I'm afraid something's gonna fall on my head and kill me. But uh, in the meantime, we got doubles grand finals, and that doesn't wait for anybody. So let's do some doubles. Uh, Jigsaw versus Shin. I have no idea. Uh, basically, it'll be somewhere. But Jigsaw's playing on stream right now in doubles. So yeah, yeah. I'm afraid something's gonna fall on my head and kill me. So Taylor and Jeff came off to an early lead, but uh, it got evened up pretty quickly. Right now, Jason's the one holding Fox. Ooh, wow. That Nair just like rushes through the hurt box. Good defense by Taylor, defending his teammate from Lee's follow up. Just watching the screen. Good awareness. Uh, teams is a lot less about both people hating the same guy than people realize, and it's more about like. Uh, team teamwork to cover options and helping your teammate not get fucked up. So if you can if you can do that, you can be a successful team even without even without huge team combos. So that's a very crucial aspect of the game that often gets overlooked. So right now we're seeing uh, teams like tend to line up together. And then they try to get into the mix. I think we're going to see Blue Team because they have to play a little more conservatively with their lineup, less willing to cross up the opponent. Wow. Okay, slick edge hog by Taylor. And, uh. Ooh, that was dangerous. Jace and Lee had a lot of percent here, so he could definitely die. But, uh, yeah. Ooh, okay. That was a beautiful harmonic shine by Lee. And then a uh, less than beautiful SD, by the way. That's very unfortunate for him. And Jason's like, you know, it's just not happening. We're going to chill out right now. So, uh, Taylor and Shake and Espeon taking game one, looking good. A bit of uh, some unfortunate SD. Lee talking some strategy with his partner. He's off camera right now. And we'll see how it goes. I don't know. They're very incompetent. They're very incompetent. Alright, so they're going to counterpick to Final Destination. And, uh, yeah. We see Jeff playing the backup plan while Taylor tries to bait and gain some space. But, uh, that didn't work out too hot for them. Nice edge guard here by Jay Salt. Fine with the assistance from Lee is gonna close out that stock. Ooh, Jeff goes off the side real quick this time, and Taylor sneaking a quick shine gamp on Lee. That was cute. Oh yeah, Taylor was trying to hunt down Jay Salt, but in the meantime, uh, just leaving Jeff to tie with Lee in the middle, very good strategy. So Jay Salt ends up losing his stock while, and then he comes across and helps pick, pick off Lee. So that was textbook team's play. That was pretty textbook. Uh, they lose the stock anyway. Still looking pretty good for Jay Salt and Lee right here. Oh, sloppy work, though. 
And yeah, that's a really bad spot to lose, honestly. Other than the obvious of, you know, losing the stock is bad, very low percent. It's like their position was much more tenable. But now, even though the stock counts are even, with Jigsaw holding a higher amount of stock, it's even though his stocks generally might take longer to take loot, he takes a longer time to come back and get back in the fight. So his three stocks do less fighting than a fox's stocks. So it's a big deal. And now, uh, you know, now we're going to eat the pain. The crouch cancel. Jeff is very good at these crouch cancels on the recovery. And Lee is uh, evolving again. Headphones away. Yeah. Yeah, at least I don't have to hear the damn Rihanna remix again. Quack, 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 quack. You know what, Froze? I'll submit your question to him later. Oh, uh, it was. Yeah, it was a while ago. I think Taylor was not at that tournament. So, neither were you. Um. Yeah, so Lee's going to play Jigglypuff now, and uh, I don't know if he does this sometimes, and I don't know, <laughs> basically it works sometimes, but nobody in Louisiana likes it when this happens. Uh, everyone see, everyone, a lot of people in Louisiana used to see Lee picking Jigglypuff as tantamount to, like, giving up, and he's talked to me about it, he's like, no, sometimes you just gotta fight, but uh, I don't think it's... I certainly don't think it's impossible for him to win with Fox, you know, in the situation that he picks Jigglypuff. And his Jigglypuff is pretty decent at throwing people off the stage and killing them. So, uh, you know, it's it's working out for him right now. So uh, how much can I really be complaining? Well, it's only two stocks in. There are, of course, eight stocks on each team. So we'll see how it goes. Ooh, okay, yeah. That was interesting team play. Both of them looking for their own separate gimps. But uh, Justin's going to lose Blue Team's first stock. And this is one of the powers of Pop Team. She's just it's a very simple for her to do that. Ooh, okay. Yeah, that was an interesting. He doesn't manage to get the rest of my draw. I think maybe it was Smash BI, and also possible like this. I think it was Smash BI. It's a little difficult for me to tell on the screen. Ooh, yeah. Big fair from Justin. Very important stock. Widening the gap here. Uh, Jeff, uh, bleeding stocks a little bit here. Oh, and he misses. He misses that. It's very important. And just like that, the stocks end up getting tied up when you were in a situation where Jeff missed the DI on the upside of the lead, missed the rest. And so they could have gone up another stock here for sure, but it just didn't happen. And now, uh, Fox Flipper took out hunting? No. Good pickoff by Lee. Smart awareness. But, ooh, just not able to uh, close, get these finishes on, finishing touches on the stocks. So Lee Jigglypuff is doing a lot of the initial hits, but the foxes are still making him back to the stage, so it's, like, very bad for him. Taylor had a lot of percent here. Got to play a little bit carefully. One strong hit will do it to him. All right. So, three stocks, too, but uh, with Red Team owning the center right now, it's basically not that easy. And now Lee is going to connect that. But he killed himself in the meantime. That's really, really big. Oh, tried to jab rest him out of it. Uh, good mashing. Taylor says, absolutely, under no circumstances do I want to get grabbed here. He, because Justin knows the rest closes it. Justin's going to have another chance here while Taylor is forced to deal with the Jigglypuff, but he gets back here and off again. And I don't think he can make it back from here. 
but Lee manages to tap him with the forward air. Nice job. And Justin does even make it back. So, Drip the Pump worked. Uh, it remains to be seen, of course, whether it was a Dreamland thing or not. But, you know, Lee played really well. He got the hits when he needed to, and he managed to convert to kill in the clutch situation. He does a good job. So uh, now we got the power counter pick of Pokemon Stadium, though, and Lee is actually going to stay Jigglypuff here. So you know, Jigglypuff dies a lot easier. He doesn't have quite, she doesn't have quite the loot to work with. But uh, you know, the extended combos don't mean as much. So basically, we'll see. Teams is uh, a fickle beast, but of course, Stadium is always going to be a good stage for fun. Still is dropping the edge guard there, but Justin giving it right back to him. Very unfortunately for him. Lee trying to fish for this grab here, but uh, Taylor a little too wildly trying to get out of the way of that. Crouch cancel, nice job by Jeff. Going to uh, not get grabbed by Justin. Ooh, and then Lee. Lee with another pickoff. Another nice interception of just recovery, but Fox is a really good character. These two guys keep coming back for more. Eventually, Taylor dies, though. So, uh, you know, the things don't always pan out in the direction you, uh, you intend them to. Jeff getting sent off high, but Jigglypuff's vertical mobility very poor, not able to reach the high angle of the up He's barely dies off the side. Uh, these guys are up about one and a half stocks right now. The Rock Transform favors is very important at this time because it helps the Fox team camp and survive a little bit longer. Like, if you look at this situation where Blue Team ends up getting separated on the different spires of the Rock Transform, and suddenly, you know, they she's basically almost at kill percent here. Uh, Lee gonna try to recover. Oh, Taylor trying to go for the shine spike there, not gonna get a good dash attack with there from Justin, but. It's so hard to edge guard doubles. Taylor not able to pick up that stock. Uh, I think Jeff could have done some hunting of a roll there. I think it's easy to anticipate that it's a roll there. Good edge guard though, and Justin just the stock goes into the abyss. An up smash as Lee also joins his teammate. And uh who knows? A lot of interesting things can happen, uh, but right now Blue Team is honestly in a bit of a hole. With uh, this is the favorable matchup they want, where they have Jeff facing off more against Justin, while Taylor fights with Lee in the middle. And because you know Jeff is really good against Taylor, so oh that was a nice back air, good option coverage by Jeff, but he misses the up. He actually misses that up smash. That up smash would have probably sealed the set. But that one will certainly steal the set as Lee goes off the top. Taylor and Espeon now looking to close it out. Justin's going to do his best here, but to no avail. Oh, no! Justin gets to the ledge, and then some other shit happens. So, uh, at the end of the day, Taylor and Espeon knock it down 3-1. Winning grand finals of the doubles bracket. Uh, Justin, we have a special viewer question from Feroz. He asks you, Froze asks you, uh, did Justin ever finish those chocolate chip waffles? This keeps me up at night. I did. He did. Congratulations. All right, guys. Uh, I don't know if there's still any more singles bracket left to be played. It, okay, singles bracket is over. So that is it for the stream today. Uh, join us tomorrow for Melee Top 8 at 4 p.m. I'll make a post on Facebook. And uh, hopefully we'll have some good shit for you guys. See you tomorrow.